For the very latest news from Thailand, this is the Fabulous Patia Media Group. If you could like and subscribe, well, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. A 38-year-old Russian with a penchant for live weapons has been arrested on Koh Samui after being reported to police for gun possession by a concerned citizen who, well, it seems it's his girlfriend who claims that he threatened her with them. A raid on the restaurant owner's home discovered several guns along with ammunition and he telling officials that he had a liking for weapons, but he refused to elaborate on his presumed now ex's claims. Many have asked what happened to the two wealthy New Zealanders who scuffled with a Phuket cop and took his gun from his holster after he tried to stop them for bike riding violations back in March. Well, the news is that despite coming from a well-heeled family, money hasn't cut it for them and they still remain in a local jail pending a court case. With the locals in no rush to hear them at trial, their time in jail will be deducted from any sentence. But for sure, Hamish and Oscar Day rue the day when they said about the police sergeant, assuming that they might get away with it. In one of the biggest operations in history against an online gambling operation in Thailand, a total of 68 million bahts worth of assets have now been seized by officials with the support of court orders. The so-called Mingyi network is claimed to have been able to operate on a mammoth scale thanks to the support of people in power. With numerous high-ranking officials added to the list of suspects receiving money, this is the operation that has claimed support from now ex-deputy police chief Hak Pan, who vehemently denies any involvement. The announcement by the Anti-Money Laundering Office came on the same day that Hak Pan, better known as Big Joke or Jock, appealed against his current suspension and told the press that he plans to take action against those who falsely accused him, along with commissioners and commanders who, he alleges, are involved in a movement to suspend him from the force. Close to three dozen people are reported to have died from heatstroke this year in Thailand, as the public health authorities remind all that regular hydration, drinking water and adding minerals to drinks to replace those lost in the heat, together with hat wearing, is key right now. With temperatures reaching 43 degrees, many don't realise that they're getting ill until they vomit or pass out, especially those who've not been in hot climates before. So it's time to drink up, as the heat is certainly here for a while. And when an Ayutthaya family noticed that the toilets weren't flushing like they used to, they called in a pal who's a builder. Checking their drains, he was shocked to find a 14-foot python residing in the piping. Experts who removed it took a while as it had become wedged in, and it's believed that prior to taking a nap, it had had dinner of a household pet. Either way, it's now back in the jungle, and the loos are flushing nicely again. In Con Ken, when a local drug dealer was sentenced to 24 years in a provincial court, he took his sentence without comment, but then managed to flee despite wearing handcuffs, scale a fence and ride off on a waiting motorbike. He remains on the lam as the bike driver his girlfriend was nabbed. Meanwhile at home and 21 Burmese workers have been arrested by police and immigration after being reported by locals as living together in Soi Koh Pai likely to face a speedy return home unless employers can prove legal rights to be here. The landlord faces fines too, as he or she had rented to them without registering them as tenants, a legal requirement for all non-ties here. The US flagship Theodore Roosevelt sailed into Lam Chibang this week with teams set to work with their Thai counterparts on training and evaluation. Traditionally, the Navy goes out to care projects around the area for underprivileged, making donations and giving help, and that's expected to continue this year too. This weekend sees the release on YouTube of a long-awaited video interview on Fabulous 103, promising to be a favourite with those who remember the glam rock era. Now in her 70s and still performing to audiences of up to 20,000, Susie Quattro looks back and forward at her career, and we hope you'll enjoy it. And spending a penny here in the city just got a lot more expensive for City Hall, as they've invested 30 million baht in a fleet of new toilet trucks, designed to drive to locations where public facilities are needed and have clean and modern stalls. The old fleet was certainly past its sell-by date, and the new one promises less of a stink. The trucks are used at public events and will also be deployed to beach areas where currently there are no restrooms. 
As to the weather, well, there's no surprises for the weekend. Remember to wear a hat, as we're promised, 35 degrees. Dropping down to 30 in the evenings, plenty of sunshine, plenty of humidity and the real feel of up to 43 degrees over the next three days. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.